Guys, if someone says it smells like up dog in here, do not ask what that is. Don't do Fuck. He's here. Fuck. He's here. He's here. PT. PT was a new horror game being developed by a new game studio. The demo was announced at Gamescom on August 13th, 2014, and was released to play on the same day when you just want to hear about the goose, don't you? This is Daryl. Steven. Norbert. He's really whoever I want him to be. He's the hero Gotham deserves, but not the one it needs. This is the desktop goose. A goose for your desktop. He runs around, can drag out memes and text boxes, he can grab your cursor and move it places, he can click and open applications. Basically, he's cute. But he's a fing <laughs> shit. God. With a little hat. Now back to the game. Upon finishing the game, it was revealed to the player that this was in fact not a new game, but a playable teaser for the new Silent Hill game titled Silent Hills, of course starring Norman Reedus. PT is regarded by many as maybe the scariest piece of media ever made across books, movies, games, etc. So of course, following such glowing reviews, Konami canceled the project, the game was never made, and PT was removed from the PlayStation Store forever. But like everything posted to the internet, while it may be gone, it's never lost. Welcome to PT. SHUT THE FUCK UP! This is the PT hallway. You better get acquainted with it because it's the entire game. The main mechanic of PT is this looping hallway that changes either minorly or majorly as you progress. So you better take note of all the details. <gasps> Booze! Oh, we're ready to go. Oh, they put out a little snack for me. That's so nice of them. <laughs> yes, I used the precious time I have on this earth to pretend to eat fucking cigarettes. As you can expect, the first loop works as a kind of tutorial just to say, this is the hallway. I thought it was a video game. Also, look at this funny gif, haha. You thought you could fool me, didn't you? That's not a goose, that's the fucking Aflac duck. What are you trying to pull? In this first loop, there's a radio playing a news story about a father who murdered his wife and children. But maybe the real familicidal horror story are the friends we made along the way. And throughout the entire game, you're being haunted by the ghost of the murdered wife whose name is Lisa. So with that, the stage is set, and you're left with the challenge of settling a domestic dispute from beyond the grave. Well, not my space to judge. Okay, let's go, guys. Holy fuck! Okay, so there are a couple instances of Lisa knocking on this door, and while I was writing the script, I was thinking like, oh, you know, I can make a Breaking Bad joke, right? Heisenberg, the one who knocks. But I couldn't really get the joke to fit how I wanted it to. So I had to go with Saul instead. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, he's here. It's fucking Saul. Did you know you have rights, Lisa? The Constitution says you do. He's learned advanced English. He pulled out fucking Ozymandias. Unintentionally, this is also a Breaking Bad joke. Despite my current witty commentary, I was shitting bricks, which is why I brought the goose to lighten the load. I'm like one of those guinea pigs that whenever they're met with any stress or adversity, immediately resort to cannibalism. That was a terrible simile. But pushing through my guinea pig tendencies, I persevered and got locked in the bathroom with a baby. Depending on what political party you belong to, it's a baby. Hey, buddy. This room gives you the flashlight, which is very useful because in the next loop, they turn off the lights. It was at this point that the goose decided to bring out a strange omen. Goose kills, man. <laughs> hey, that's a weird looking goose. I defiled a picture the goose invested in the stock market and Lisa responded to his financial decisions by ripping out a window and smashing it on the floor. Oh, fuck me. I could take this as a threat, but I'm gonna choose to look at it as sound investing advice. Now there's a baby in a fridge tied to the ceiling. <gasps> baby. Baby. Baby, oh, snack time. Baby, you're getting blood everywhere, okay? Calm down, calm down. Here you need to take the letters from the friendly hello written on the wall and move them over to the I can hear them calling me from hell. Hey, but once you do that, the game will tell you how to get to Sesame Street. <laughs> Elmo? In the next room, all the lights are red, and in the one after that, the house is weird, and I blame it all on the French. You look through this peephole and listen to murder ASMR, and then you get introduced to my favorite line in all of game. You got fired, so you drowned your sorrows in booze. Things go back to normal, the goose pulled out lost, and the game does a Metal Gear fake-out crash. I wonder why. Now you get to talk to this lovely bag of meat. I walked. I could do nothing but walk. And then, I saw me walking in front of myself. But, it wasn't really me. Watch out. The gap in the door. It's a separate reality. The only me is me. 
Are you sure the only you is you? Average school lunch experience. Now we're into the last level where I saw both a familiar face and made a terrible discovery. Oh fuck, it's Tommy in it. Tommy in it. Tommy in it. What do I do, Tommy in it? Wow, look at Tommy's look at Tommy's sly smile. That's right, God also known as this fucking goose, decided that in my hour of most need, he would give me his greatest source of wisdom. A teenage British Minecrafter. God is good. And as for the terrible discovery. Oh shit, she got head and shoulders in here. The same two-in-one I use. She might look disgusting, but at least we know she doesn't have dandruff. The last level of this game took me longer than everything else combined, and I cheated to do it. Basically, you need to wait for the clock to change to zero, 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 walk ten paces, and then wait for the baby to laugh like that pufferfish with a carrot. There we go. Was that the- I'm pretty sure I heard the pufferfish, didn't I? Figure out whether Lisa's possessing either the phone, the radio, or the mirror. Stare at it or her until the haunting stops. Hear a second baby laugh. At this point, your controller should start vibrating. Wait for it to stop vibrating without touching any of the controls, at which point you should hear a third baby laugh, and then the phone should start ringing. You've been chosen. Leave the room, Norman Reedus. Now that's all well and good, but the goose just kind of kept me company and brought me silly funny memes. I said I let the goose ruin the game. What's that? What? I can't hear you. Hi, Lisa. Wow, you're cool. But I've seen worse demons than you. Oh, it's, it's. Tab me out. Yeah, this was hell. And what I didn't find out until almost the end of the game is that while Gavin here had the long neck and was spinning, he was actually moving too fast to be able to accurately grab memes and text boxes and the like. So he was a bitch and not even a funny one. So for the last level, I did two things. One, turned off long neck rainbow mode. And two, turned off the goose's sound because did the baby laugh i can't tell over the goose this is going to give me epilepsy finally i got the phone call and i could be done with the game and this fucking duck oh fuck you too if you thought this video was even slightly funny which i'm assuming you did because you made it to the end then please do subscribe i do this weekly if you liked watching me suffer here's a video about me trying to play dark souls i'm fucking terrible at outros get lost go